How's it going, everybody? This is Ray with Sunny 99.1 and the Houston Film Fanatics. And Christmas, it's, it's Christmas season right now. It's Christmas is upon us. And we have our Christmas man of the hour. David Rainey is here. He is performing in the fantastic A Christmas Carol show that is happening at the Alley Theater. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you for having me. All right, well, I was wondering about this when I was prepping for this interview, and I'm sitting here thinking, well, what do you do to get kind of in the spirit for this role? I mean, I was thinking, you know, maybe you go and cash a bunch of singles, get a bunch of coins, spend some time home alone, cash, like counting them, and yeah. saying about humbug to children. I don't know. <laughs> what do you do to prepare for this? Well, um, it's, it's something we do every year. Um, so um, mostly just trying to get it back into the spirit of things. I mean, it's a great story. So I start with the play and just kind of get investing in what the play is all about, which is about generosity. And ultimately, it's what it comes down to. Scrooge is a person who kind of represents the worst of us. And, and through the process of the play, he ends up finding redemption. Okay, so I noticed, I was reading about the show, and they're saying that this is a very family-friendly version of this story. Mm -hmm. um, what exactly does that mean as far as the viewers? Have things been changed, toned down? What, what exactly can we expect? Uh, well, I mean, this is Michael Michael Wilson's uh, adaptation of it, and he wrote it in, uh, in, in a very kind of light-hearted kind of way. Has lots of kids in in the show. We have 30 kids in the play. There's two casts of 15 uh, young casts uh, in, the, in the play, um, and it just has it, it's it's scary and spooky and what have you, but it also has a lot of light moments in it. Um, and so um, he he really adopted the play with the idea of not being simply a ghost story, but that it, it's, it's a family, a family event. To be a family to. So uh, it was written with that. Well, and this is one of those shows that, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of uh, versions of this show, a lot of different, you know, TV, theater uh, that we've seen of it. What do you think it is that makes this show so special that keeps everybody coming back again and again? Well, you know, like I said, I mean, the whole idea, it really, for me, the, the it's about forgiveness. Um, Every religion is a, about that. that. If you atone, and if you really mean it, that you can be wiped clean, and that you can start over again, and, and uh, do things differently, and do things better. Um, and that's what this story is, is, and that's why it's lasted as long as it has, and probably will last, you know, throughout the ages, because it's such a, a core uh, human thing of, of having done things that you regret, realizing it, and atoning for. And one of the wonderful things for me, the one of the wonderful things about the, the play is that Scrooge not only uh, finds redemption, um, asks for redemption and gets it, gets that second chance, but he goes a step further and asks for forgiveness. Um, it's just a wonderful story. Um, so, One of the things, you know, everybody loves about the show is meeting all the different ghosts in the show. My question for you is this. If you had the chance to meet the ghost of past, present, or future? Which one would you want to uh, encounter and why? <laughs> uh, I, I think that I would probably like to meet the Ghost of Christmas present. All right. Um, I played present most of the years that I've been. I've been in the, in the show 19 years at, at the alley. Um, and most of the time I've played Ghost of Christmas present. Um, uh, to me, um, it's, it's all about abundance. Um, abundance of, of of joy and happiness and you know, food and drink and all of that. Um, he's the one that I think I would want to meet the most. And I think that the one I want to meet the least is the Ghost of Christmas Future. Yeah, I, I gotta agree with that. <laughs> but I mean, I think I would totally like to hang with the Ghost of Christmas Past. You know, there's a lot of memories I think back there that I would totally like to retake advantage of again. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. there's some good times. <laughs> Do things a little differently. It'd be great. There you go. Um, so, for you, do you have a favorite part of the show? Um, well, um, yeah, like I, I said, the, the 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 moment that really um, reached that that uh, that speaks to me the most is the moment when he asked Fred for for forgiveness. I have a lot of favorite moments in the play. Is it more fun for you playing Scrooge as the miser or Scrooge as the redeemed man? <laughs> Well, let me say they both have some fun qualities about it. You know, it's it's certainly fun to get all mean and miserly, and and it's and it's great to be um, overjoyed and delighted. In your own words, why do these guys need to come and check out a Christmas Carol? Well, you need to come and check out a Christmas Carol because it's a great, great holiday story. 
And it's more than just simply, you know, uh, just the holiday story. As I said before, it's a, it's a story about, about who we are as human beings. It's not just Scrooge that needs to take, take stock. It's a story that tells us all that at this time of the year, let's look at our lives and see what we can do to be better. And that's the, the message of the story, and it's one of the great reasons why we want to come together as a community to experience it. Well, there you have it, guys. A Christmas Carol, a ghost story of Christmas is going to be happening at the Alley Theater. It's playing November the 15th through December the 29th. Come on out. You can see Scrooge put on an amazing performance. Tickets are on sale now at alleytheater.org. Thank you so much, David, for talking with us today. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll see you guys real soon. This has been Ray with the Houston Phil Fanatics, Sunny 99.1.